is a freshman 15. How many of you got it? No one. Uh, did you? Yeah, you <laughs> And I'm going to talk about it's about it, problems with it, and fixing it. Obesity on campus. During the past two decades, a significant increase in obesity and obesity related disorders, such as type 2 diabetes, hypertension, such as high blood pressure, and dyslipidemia has occurred among young people in their teens and 20s. Little progress has been made in controlling or preventing obesity because the cards are stacked to get plus. Obesity is a complex adaption, adaptation to existing environments, which basically, this is saying that the exposure to fast food, which is obviously easy to get, we all like it. Um, obviously, we're all crowded with work, homework, studying all the time. A lot of us don't have time to go to the gym. And findings in the survey show that 3 out of 10 college students are either overweight or obese. 9 out of 10 students eat fewer than 5 servings of fruit or vegetables per day. And nearly 6 out of 10 participate in fewer than 3 activities per week. According to a behavioral risk factor, the prevalence rate of obesity in college students has doubled over the past 10 years. This rise is due to part in an increased number of college students or colleges and university contracting meals of fast food chains like Domino, we all know McDonald's, Wendy's, all, all these fast food like these are really close to us so they're easy to get. And here's a chart that shows and this is obviously since 02 so you can tell that it's obviously going to increase throughout the years. And the problems with it, with obesity and college student, it begins to rise more problems that were originally associated with people that are obviously older than us, such as uh, heart attack, stroke, high blood pressure, diabetes, knee and joint problems, and various types of cancer that could also lead to death. And this shows how much, the, how many uh, billions of dollars were dedicated to the conditions of obesity. And for diabetes, it's $98 billion. Here's the video. Healthcare reform. One trend is impossible. To ignore. Americans are heavier than ever. With the obesity epidemic only getting worse. A new report finds that the current rate 103 million American adults, 43% will be obese within nine years, and that would be a health crisis that would carry an enormous price tag. Here's David Muir. The prediction is astounding. Within the next decade, health care costs, because of obesity, will quadruple to $344 billion a year. One of every $5 spent on health care, spent on obesity. It is the single biggest driver uh, over the past 10 or 15 years of why health care spending has uh, risen. We do have this explosion of chronic diseases related to obesity, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, and cancer. By 2018, the average obese person in this country could spend $8,300 in medical bills every year. That's nearly $2,500 more than people who aren't overweight. And with so much debate in Washington over health care reform, so many are now asking why so limit is about obesity. Why are we not hearing more about obesity? Because they would have to attach a number to it and the cost of it will be astronomical. The next would say the government has to do something to get Americans to eat less, or we'll pay for it later, literally. We've had a doubling of obesity since 1985. Why are we eating more? We have larger portions. We have food absolutely everywhere. Plate sizes are larger. Muffin pans are larger. The study also predicts this. More than half of the populations in Mississippi, Maryland, Kentucky, Ohio, South Dakota, and Oklahoma will be obese by 2018. Oh, yeah. In Oklahoma City, 55-year-old Vicky Ricardo's medical bill started rising with her weight. Is this about what you anticipated for the week? She's now lost 25 pounds. I don't want to go down that road if I can prevent it. 
I hope it's a wake-up call. It was for her, and Dr. Zolpi's costly predictions will now be a wake-up call for others, too, whose medical bills could skyrocket, along with their weight. David Muir, ABC News, New York. Here's the pyramid, and I talk about obesity on campus, the prophecy. 